What's up, YouTube? It's Carolina Calvin. Coming back to you with some more gaming news. And Microsoft held a Windows 10 event. And the reason I'm talking about this is because there are some gaming-related um, things that they talked about. So I'm I'm just gonna talk about all of it. You know, it, it, it wasn't long. Um, in no particular order. Um, I have some of the things written down of you know, what happened. One you know, one pretty good one. Uh, free upgrade to Windows 10 if you own Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. I thought that was pretty good. Um, I might think about upgrading. Um, I currently still use Windows 7. I didn't um, get 8.1. So hopefully, you know, 10 will be, you know, cause they're really dropping support on 7. So I, I may want to get 10, um, 10 because they, you know, there's another thing I'm going to talk about that also... Um, that's on Windows 10. It's also on 8.1. Just never wanted to switch. Um, let me see. It's throughout the first year of the availability of the OS. It will be free. Um, they also talked about a mobile version as well. Let me see. And participants of the Windows Insider program can get it next week. So you can get even earlier. Um, they talked about some of the features. Um, for you know, for instance, the mobile. I won't get into it because it might bore you. Cortana. Um, Cortana, she's going to be on Windows 10. So, you know, I, I've actually heard somebody talk about that. And you know, I thought, hell, why not? Um, I, you know, Apple, they have Siri. And I can't remember what Android had. Hmm. Don't really don't remember. But, you know, a lot of people expected it because I believe on the Windows phone... Cortana is up there. You can get Cortana. You know, the work similar to how Siri works. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I, I, you know, I, like I said, I actually heard somebody talk about it. So, you know, that looks nice. Um, they talk about it. They talked about a new web browser. It's called Spartan. Let's just hope it's not one of those web browsers where, you know, it's there by default. Because Internet Explorer, hell, I don't give a damn what version you talk about. It existed to download a better browser. Firefox, Google Chrome. Those, those are the two browsers I have. I disabled Internet Explorer on my um, PC. This is, this is the game-related news I was referring to. Fable Legends will have cross-play. Um, it's going to be on PC. This is uh, actually the first time announced it was going to be on PC. A lot of people assumed it was just going to be on Xbox One. Um, I'm pretty sure it's only on going to be on Windows 10 because you know this is a Windows 10 event. Yeah, only on Windows 10 PCs. But if you got 7 or 8.1, you can immediately upgrade. So you know, there you go. You're gonna have be able to play it. And um, as I mentioned, it had cross game play. Um, we thought that was something Microsoft didn't want to do. But since it's a game they're publishing, um, we don't know. I don't exactly know how they're gonna um. Not, I'm pretty sure they're not probably going to go through Steam, so are they going to bring um, what they had before, um, like the Microsoft Windows Live, will they bring something similar to that back? Who knows? Um, because you know a couple years ago they did away with that. Matter of fact, I believe it was last year they did away with it, um, 2013. Might have been 2014. I think it was 2013 when they did away with um, you know the Windows Live thing. <clears throat> um, let me see. Go to the next page. You know, like I said, the stuff is pretty brief. Um, the, probably the biggest news, in my opinion, of the whole, um, you know, the whole little event that they had was you can stream your Xbox One games, Halo 5, um, you know, whatever Gears of War game, you know, Sunset Overdrive, you know, games that are not on PC. You can stream those from your Xbox One to your PC and or Android, I believe. Hold on. I believe it's only the Surface. It says tablet, but let me make sure of that. It says tablet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be only the Surface. Um, because as I said, they talked about the mobile um, Windows 10, the, um, the mobile version of it. So I'm pretty sure it's going to only be for those. But I thought that was a pretty good feature. Something similar to what um, Sony was doing with, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, for instance, you know, the PlayStation Now. And my friend, no, I'm not a PlayStation now, but they're, you know they're allowing to the stream through the TVs, through tablets, through the Vita, and you know you could uh, stream games through it. it. It's something very similar to that, so it, I thought that was pretty good to see. 
Um, they also talked about DirectX, DirectX 12 and you know how that affects the games and whatnot. They talked about um, the Windows holographic. Uh, they actually showed um, like Minecraft and stuff like that. It, it, it was probably a big reason why they got Minecraft to do something like this. Um, I actually thought they were going to do a little bit more, but we'll wait to see. Um, you know, we'll wait to see what they plan on doing with it, but. This is one of the things that, that was one of the demonstrations they showed with you know with my Minecraft. And then they talked about the surface, pretty much nothing else really. And you know, an event like this, it, it's mainly about it was mainly about Windows 10. But I was surprised to see um, they actually showed a game. They also showed uh, how you know to me the biggest feature of the entire thing as a gamer was. Well, two biggest features was you can get Windows 10 free. So if you uh, want to try it out, you can get it for free. The first year is available if you got Windows 7 or 8.1. Most people have Windows 7 or 8.1. So you know, you better try the OS. And two, being able to stream from you know from your Xbox One to a tablet, which more than likely is probably the Surface, and or you know your PC, which I will only do that with exclusives. Because most of the third-party games, you know, I have on PC. Most of you know, most of the really big third-party games I have on PC. There's some third-party games I have on Xbox One. So I guess it, you know, it could work just like that. And it's it's a way. So say you you know, if you got an entertainment you know entertainment room, you know, you got you got a family and whatnot, and the missus want the missus want to watch uh, whatever she wants to watch, and you want to play the game instead of moving the entire game, you can like stream it to your computer. Um, we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see how that um, how well that will work, but I think it's a cool concept. I, I really think it's a cool concept. Um, if you didn't watch the event, uh, should be there on YouTube. Um, let's see if I can find a link. But there is an article that I'm actually directly referring from. Referring from. Put the link down in the description. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, you know about the whole streaming. The, you know the whole streaming thing and you know everything that I talked about. Of course, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.